Okay, so how's everybody doing? Are you just about done that one? Yes. I like that envelope better than better than the bot one. Oops. Shh. Thank you. Okay. Next one is the Z fold. Well, it's actually called the double Z fold, I believe. Pool and memento. Pool party and memento. Any apple green some colors and some dyes. There we go. And a mask. Okay, hopefully they'll be able to find me again. Hey, I think I got it organized. There's a few popping over, popping back. Uh-oh, Janet froze, so she's over on Facebook. Hello, Shanna. Good, well, hopefully more will find me again. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is a double Z fold card or Z fold. I can't remember how I said it on the instructions. It's the one that has the granny apple green pieces in it. So there is a, hi Valerie. There's a piece of thick basic white four and a quarter by 11 and a piece of thick basic white, one and three quarter by 11, and then they're both scored at two and three quarters and five. And then there's um, some granny apple green that is four by two and a half, and a piece for the inside. I hope the inside got done on this card. Piece for the inside that's five and a quarter by four. And then a piece of white layered on top of that, that's five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. Uh oh, I didn't cut my pool party. Oh no. Oh well. There was a piece of white that's five. Huh. Piece of basic white that is five and an eighth by three and an eighth. These are for the inside, but. Maybe if the insides didn't get done on the first one, maybe they didn't get done on this one. I no. don't. No, they did not. Unless uh, I got it mixed up. Where's my list here? I don't have a five and five something or other in, in white. Oh, well, time to cut some. So what is the measurement? For the white, you need a piece of granny apple green that is five and a quarter by four. Yes. And a piece of basic white that is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. Five and one eighth, three and seven eighths. Okay. Oh, that's, that's the one I need. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't even have it here, so I don't know. 
I tried to go in and see what was on there, but I can't find it. So you'll just have to tell me when I, hello? There. You'll just have to tell me when I screwed up and you need to cut stuff. And then a piece of pool party that's two and a quarter by one and an eighth, and a piece of whites so that's two and an eighth by one. And a piece of granny apple green, four by two and a half, a piece of white, three and seven eighths by two and three eighths, and a piece of white that's two by three. Okay, so I also have to go cut cardstock. Who party and white. Okay. Because apparently I didn't do it either. Two and a quarter by two. And the white is two and an eight by one. Okay, all the pieces now. Okay, when everybody um, is ready to carry on, we will start once you have all of your pieces done. So, Who's still cutting? Anybody still cutting? Yep. Okay. Then tell yeah. me when you're tell me when you're done. Okay. Okay. I am done. All righty. Anybody else still cutting? Just doing my last piece. Go ahead, I'm going to have to catch up because I've got all sorts of weird things cut. <laughs> well, good for you. <laughs> I need to get them all match. I do have a question. Yep. What can I use if I don't have the curvy dies? Just, um, you could either hand cut it or you could just leave it this way. Okay. If you were going to just leave it this way, I would cut it down probably another half an inch, quarter of an inch, somewhere in there. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, so get it so that it's folding properly. And then I'm just going to put the curvy dies on here and just cut. Well, once I get my extra plate off, So it, it does part of it at a time. So I'm putting it on so that it starts over here and then it, it will end going up there. And then somewhere along the way, it's going, you're going to have to overlap it. But if it doesn't work out, then you just have to let that go that it didn't match up. Or you can hand cut it. All right, so I've cut one. Oh, I cut it upside down, oh well. So my new one is not going to have the bubbles because ah! I put the bubbles at the top instead of the bubbles at the bottom. So I'm, I'm putting it, laying it down inside the hole there and then cutting it again.
and I'm going to use my washi tape to hold it in place. You find this incredibly boring? <laughs> Who's bored? Oh, no, sorry. I was talking to my granddaughter. <laughs> oh. Must not be stamping. She's bored. Sorry, what are you using to hold it in place? Just a little bit of washi tape. And if you don't have washi tape, post-it notes work too. I want it to move once I get it where I want it to be. We used to sh sell washi tape, so I had a whole bunch of it and we don't sell it anymore. So I, I don't have a lot of it anymore. And then just take your scissors and, and uh, hand manicure your lawn. There we go. Would have been better if I had have done it the right way, but you know what? It is what it is. And my word for 2021 is enjoy. So I'm not sweating the little stuff. And there's sunshine coming in my windows. There is mine too. Woohoo! My, my windows are dirty. <laughs> I have my back to mine. Okay. So when we get this all finished, this is going to go on here like that. And then it folds like that. So you will see this, the back of this here, this. So you can either leave it like I did on the on my card, or you can stamp whatever you're stamping on the front. You could stamp it on there as well. Okay, in the pines, in the pines it work. Now I'm using a stamp set called Approaching Perfection. It's a free celebration one because. I want this stuff. And then I'm using this news flash birthdays found to be good for your health. Studies show that people who have more birthdays live longest. Just saying. Okay. Now I'm going to run a row of candles and I'm going to kind of curve them as I go along. And I'm using granny apple green to do that. Apparently it needs re-inking. Whoops, missed a spot. Ooh, I can't see over there. There we are. Now I'm going to bend this and see where I can see them. And this one, I'll put um, candles in there so you can see what the difference is. So there you go. That's There's the plain one and there's the stamped one. So that's done. We can put that to the side. Give us a minute or two, Glenda, to yep. do that. Yep. Let me know when you're done. Okay. Linda, how did you apply that so that the it looks like that? The, the grass? 
the candles? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so the, the first fold goes all the way. I see, okay. Yeah. I did mine backwards. Yeah, if, <laughs> if you do it backwards, um, it's it won't work. actually not going to work. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Good. How are we doing? Is everybody done? No, hey. of course not. <laughs> That's OK. So to get ready for the next step, we won't do it yet. You'll need the two by three piece of white. Oh. No. Yes. This is the one that we're going to stamp the donkey on. I only have one candle. That's why it's taking me so long. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's Glenn, a lot of stamping. We, I didn't get um like a two by two on on my printout two by two. The, yeah two by you three. just said stamp the donkey on a two by two two by three oh okay good and i was looking for and what the heck did i stamp this or cut this wrong <laughs> Okay, Penny's still moving, so I know she's still working. I'm having issues, so don't wait for me. Is everybody else ready to go on? Pretty okay. much. I've got two more candles and I'm good. Okay. <laughs> We're going to stamp the donkey next on the two by three in memento. But it's and I'm of, using the, the one that looks like Eeyore because I'm going to hang them from a balloon. And then at the same time, while I have the ink out, I'm going to stamp the happy birthday on the two and an eighth by one. Okay. And I'm going to take the piece that's going to go on the front, which is three and seven eighths by two and three eighths. And I'm going to stamp the balloon but if you notice, it doesn't go down past his butt. 
because there was no way I was going to have the balloon thing hanging out of his butt. <laughs> Come on, we fill it with methane. No. So I'm I'm using a post-it note. <laughs> Chicken. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I am. So you can either do this now or maybe we'll just wait because it'll be easier once we have the dude on, like do a dry run with the dude and mark it. Because otherwise I'm just going to do a guess where it should go. Okay, so what white piece of paper does the donkey get stamped on? Two by three. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to add, this is the three and seven eighths by two and three eight piece. And I'm going to add some pool party with my blending brush or sponge, whatever you have. The three and seven eighths by two and three eighths? Yes. Okay. And I'm starting at the top and I'm working my way down so that it's ombre-ish. So it's darker at the top than at the bottom. But that's just the way I'm doing it. You do it the way you want. And you can make it as dark as you want or as light as you want. Uh, that was pool party, right. Party of the pool. And then take that snowflake starburst stamp and just kind of randomly stick some stamps on there. Now don't forget that we are going to put this so that this will be along the bottom. So you don't have to stamp on the bottom part of it. Okay, so while you do that, I'm going to color my donkey. And I'm using gray granite this time. So Glenda. Yeah. Will I be able to access this again in the future? Oh yeah. I don't yeah. remove them. I don't remove them from my Facebook page. That's good. And it will be on my YouTube channel too. I'll finish this card then. By then I'll have that stamp set with the candles ah and the nice happy birthday yeah yeah that's why i do it in three different things so that you can go back and access each one individually if you want And then I, when it's all over, I upload them to YouTube. So they are forever available. Okay, the one with the dark, with some highlights. Oh, I forgot to do this. smokes is that stuck in there having issues wouldn't unstick i'm sorry really stuck in my case what is stuck those little starbursts ah uh, they wanted to stay in there they did not want to come out and play <laughs> now if you notice i haven't done on his muzzle yet because I don't want to do more than one coat. I want that to be lighter than the rest of them. Okay. 
these donkeys are so cute. Just like those stupid frogs we had, was it last year? No, last year was the ladybugs. The year before that was the frogs. Okay, so now I'm just going very, very lightly. I'm not even pushing on the brush. I'm just letting it glide over the paper just so it's lighter than the rest of it. And then look, I have an ew. I went outside the line. But I have my color lifter here. When I get it up. Yes, I'll just take it off. Bye bye. This is light flirty flamingo. And I've discovered that the light calypso coral also makes a really good color for ears and stuff on these things. Okay, I'm sorry, now there's fussy cutting again. I'm glad of the calypso coral because I don't have the pink. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, Calypso Coral works really well. The light one, not the dark one. I was doing snails the other day and was experimenting with colors. As you know, snails are happening. They're so cute. Yep, that's the club theme for February. Yuck. Yeah. <laughs> I think of my mother when I see the snails with their little shells because she had a, a special pair of clogs and she would go out first thing in the morning and stamp on all the snails and crush their <laughs> crush their shells. Uh -huh. was so horrible. <laughs> I hate them on the ground, but I like them on a card. <laughs> Yeah, well, the ones on the ground are just nasty. The ones on a cart are cute. Sorry, Maria. They're good in a pan with garlic butter. <laughs> yeah, well, they used to be. I used to eat them. Really did. But then I used to eat lots of stuff I don't eat anymore. I don't think they have much flavor. I think, as Maria says, it's the garlic butter and everything else around them that tastes so yummy. Yeah. What? And I like a chewy texture, so that counts too. You did the coloring of the donkey in crumb cake? Gray granite. Gray granite? The last one was crumb cake. And we just needed the dark one, or did you shade it? No, I shaded it. What piece do we use for the happy birthday stamp? Um, you have to cut one that is two and an eighth by one. Okay. I think I've done that. <laughs> Was anything stamped on the inside white piece? Yeah. We haven't gone there yet. Okay. We're still working on the outside. Okay. Get this away. There it is. <coughs> okay. So we have that and that and that and this that's going to layer on that. This layers on that. And then on the inside, I stamp the news flash in pool party, just right on the card. And then on this one, I stamp the the starbursty thing around the happy birthday after I put it on. And I only put it on this side. So this leaves area here to write your happy birthday. 
And then the envelope is this dude. Because <laughs> it's so cute. Okay. Do the envelope. I missed a lot while I was fiddling with my paper. So you stamp the donkey and then fussy cut it out? Yes. Okay. Beautiful. What can, um, pretty paint, paint that maybe even this one, kind of an orangey paint, but, oh, two orange, yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, what about no? Mm. Uh -huh. Three. Um. Come on, I don't know. What do you think? I don't have enough colors. What about a flesh like that one? If you can do it really lightly. Oh, I gotta put some, get some charge happening. Dark. Yeah, that's too dark. Okay, so I put this um, piece of pool party on here temporarily so I can put this sort of together and see where the placement is for the happy birthday. Like that. And then I'm going to stamp this, the little doodads around that. About his food. I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to put one kind of poking out from underneath there. There we go. Mm -hmm. Like those scissors or the other one. Okay. Are we ready to move on and do some assembly? Sure. Okay. So the piece for the front that was three and seven eighths by two and three eighths that you sponged and then added those, that layers onto the granny apple green that's four by two and a half. Like that. Uh, hi, Catherine. Um, Barb, it's from, it's from, hang on, Approaching Perfection. It's a celebration stamp set. Okay, and then that goes on to the front of your card. Like that. Oh, I didn't stamp the balloon. Okay, I got to stamp the balloon. So this guy is going to go on here like this. 
So tilt them as much as you want them to be tilted. And put this on here so you know exactly where he's going. Get him on there where you want him. And then I'm going to take my pencil because I want that balloon to be right in his tail, right there. So I'm going to put my post-it note right underneath that mark that I made. Oh, maybe you do it tooth the same as it knows. Take the balloon and I'm going to stamp it right in that little V that I made there. Whoops. Yep. Got mung on the back of my card. Cover it with designer paper. <laughs> Letting it go, letting it go. I'm going to erase my pencil mark and leave the little shadow that is on there because apparently I don't know how to stamp and hope that it's covered by his tail. Do you think? Oh, oh, look at that. It is. Yay. Now you can pop him up or you can put him down flat. Okay. Then on the inside, Attach the, the white three and seven eighths by five and an eighth to the five and a quarter by four inch piece of granny apple green. There's a piece of Layer that on there like that. And then that goes into the inside of your card. And these all have to be put on before we put our Z on. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> And the happy birthday. Am I going too fast? Yes. Okay. I'll put the happy birthday onto the pool party and then I'll stop and wait for you. Except it's crooked. Come on. What's the weather doing over there today, Maria? Just a great day. It was super windy this morning, but even that's almost settled down. Wow. I think I'm kind of lost. Where? Okay. So I'm going to clean my stamps and clean things up and you guys let me know when you're ready to go on. Yes, Janet, this is the larger white piece. So I just have the, the starburst in pool party and then the happy birthday is going to go on there as well. But I'm going to, I'm going to pop that up on mine. So. Uh-huh. Uh, 
Our sunshine's gone. It's still not much. My nose is plugged. piece that goes there. You're welcome, Janet. Everybody's head is down intently working. Except Marianne, who I can't see. And Joan, I know Joan's there, but I can't see her. <laughs> and Sharon. Oh, it's so nice to see all your smiling faces. I'm envisioning smiles. There's Joan. Oops. You popped up your happy birthday, did you? I'm going to, yes, I haven't yet, but I'm going to. So I guess I was looking at the done one. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's popped up on this one. And my donkey's popped up. And oh, one thing God. I did learn is make sure you, when you attach your donkey, make sure you put a dimensional <laughs> as far out as you can on his ear, because otherwise it gets caught and folds over. So apparently I can't score properly because mine's not working. Okay, who said that? Norma? Norma, yeah. Where did you score? Well, I have three different places now. <laughs> <laughs> um, the big one, like I took it and I measured, what is it here? I scored at... Uh, two and three quarters and then I just left it there and marked five and a half is that what I'm supposed to do because I don't have a score thing yet okay well it's really easy so take your take your 11 by four and a quarter inch piece yeah hold it in half. your fingers oh and I... then fold the front one in half again oh okay I'm totally off okay so two and three quarters is right and five and a half is right. Yeah, it just didn't go that way at all. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Do you have a paper trimmer that has a score blade in it? No, I don't. Uh, I was just measuring it on the paper trimmer and uh, yeah, folding it, but it didn't work at all. Oh, it's in uh, half and then that in would half be again. Why I, got, I got 12 inches. <laughs> oh, yeah, that won't work. That would be why. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can do it if you're, if it just means that all your pieces are going to be too small. Yeah. That's but why if you haven't, figure out why they were. <laughs> if you haven't folded at five and a half, just hack an inch off of it. 
Oh, I've got many folds in it now. I will be re remaking this card. <laughs> okay, is anybody still working? Are we ready to carry on? <laughs> okay, I'm taking your silence by as I can move on. Okay, so take your take your your curly one. Lay it onto the front. And you want the, so the front is got the two and three quarter inches, but this part is five and a half. So you're going to lay it on there like that and then flip it over and put a mark where that hits there because that's as far over as the adhesive is going to be. And then when you fold it, it folds itself like that. And this one lines up against that edge. And it should just miss the fold. So there, see how it just misses that fold. So you're going to put adhesive on each end. So there's the front end and there's my mark and I'm putting adhesive here. And then at the other end, there's my mark. And I'm gonna put adhesive over that whole thing. The only two places you put your adhesive. Come on. And it lines up right to the edge of the card on both sides. Yes. Okay. Then I'm going to erase my pencil mark before I put it onto my card. So to put this on, attach the right hand side first, right in the very corner and make sure that it lines up with the edge of the bottom edge of your card. And then close that. And then close this and fold this back over top and just put it where it lies. And then your card will work. Yay! Okay, so now I'm going to stamp newsflash in there. And I'm using pool party. Um, definitely I really need to re-ink my ink pad. And I'm, I tried to do it straight and it didn't work straight. So I'm just gonna go for it and do it crooked. There we are. Then this I'm putting up on dimensionals. Do you want food or do you want to go home? Well, or oh, we are going to make game sandwiches. Do you know how to feel eggs? Oh, Shanna's got hers done. Just sent it to me. Okay. So then when it comes time to put your sentiment in, make sure you close your card so you know where you're getting, you can center it here, get it lined up properly. And then we just have the donkey to attach.
And I'm going to do his um, ear, but not till I get him on there. I'm going to slide one in on top. Oh, well, I guess it's underneath when I get him attached because see his ears going to hang over quite a bit. Oh, I probably don't have room in this one. It's okay. I'll deal. All right, this little thing here, <laughs> he's so cute. Then I'm just gonna take a little tiny piece of um, dimensional and put it under here so that I can put his ear on permanently like that. The only thing I have left to do is color the balloon. And I'm using dark real red. Ta-da! Cute. Thanks. Oh, Shanna, how interesting. Okay, I'm going to show my share my screen and I'll show Shanna's card. Wait. Share that. There it is. So it looks she's damped. That looks like skid marks from one of the masculine stamps we had whatever that was called. Oh, and she added bling. Cool. Cute card. Okay. Back to where I was. There we go. Oh, I didn't put Winky on this guy. Winky the balloon. And his nose. Oh, let's just Winky them all. Sure, why not? He deserves to be blingy in his birthday niche. Yeah, if you don't like bling, don't watch. AJ and the Queen. <laughs> very, very blingy. Oh, comes the sunshine. There we are. That's cute. But I think I should put some bling. Where are my red rhinestones? I'm calling for red rhinestones. Oh, that's cute. But it needs another one. Up here. And it doesn't look weird because the balloon is red. Oh, I don't have room on that one to put it down there. Oh, well. Oh, 
Oh, we are. Red rhinestones. Sun's out. It's getting warm in here. Time for some fresh air. Oh, my. There's even blue sky out there. Not only is there sunshine. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Are my windows dirty? Holy moly, good thing you can't see them. That's the way I'm feeling about mine. <laughs> yeah. So how are we doing? We done yet? Yeah. yeah. Not. not, and it's not going to be tonight or oh. today. Okay. It's like, dee, 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 dee. Chris, oh, Shanna put crystal effects on her balloon. What a good idea. I have those. Gorgeous grunge, yes. I like that set. I have crystal effects. Come on. Hey, I'm going to put some on, but then I can't. I'm going to have to be really careful where I put this because it takes a long time to dry. I love crystal effects, but they don't work if you're if you're using um, water-based inks because it will run the ink. But because we're using blends, it doesn't run it. And this is shimmery crystal effects, so it's got bling in it. Woo, come on. I have to flatten it out. Have a stamp set with the balloon in it. What a cool idea. So this stuff, I store it upside down like this. I have another one of my Tombow holders and I store it like this. That way it, the air bubble is at the top and it always keeps the, the stuff at the nib where you need it. Just say another little one of those tips, you know. Oh, you should see this. See if you can see the donkey with the bling. There, you see the bling on my donkey? <laughs> okay. How, are we ready to go on to the third card? Yeah. Sure. Oh, Valerie's remaking hers. Okay, so those of you over there on Facebook, I'm going to stop this stream and we'll restart and we're going to build this card. Or I'm going to build this card and you're going to build whatever version of that you'd like. <laughs> so thanks for joining me to make the card and I will be right back with card number three.